Welcome to this Franklin Public Schools screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at how to reserve time on a shared calendar in Outlook. I am going to go a little quick with this just to get all the details out there. Please rewatch if you need to see anything again. I start off here in the mail section. I'm going to go instead to the calendar area. In the calendar area, I've already added shared calendars in the building. There is another video on the tech wiki if you'd like to see how to do that. Let's say I'm a teacher that needs to reserve a laptop cart. I'm going to check on the different laptop calendars. I'm going to turn off my calendar just to save some space. When I check to turn those on, they appear over here and they're separated by color. The colors don't matter. Each calendar is designated kind of by a little file folder tab here at the top. You can jump to different weeks using the mini calendar over here. So if I wanted to look a few weeks out and see what is on the calendar, I can see if I go into September that things have already been reserved on the laptop cart for map testing. You can use these view buttons at the top if things get a little too cluttered with what you're looking at. You can narrow things down by going to the day. Again, using the mini calendar over here to jump to a specific day if you're looking to see what's already reserved. I'll put it back to work week here. All right, so let's take a look at reserving. I'm going to go to the first day of school, and I'm going to say that I want to reserve something at 10 o'clock in the morning for a class that I teach. Before I reserve, do note on the side, the time starts at 12 a.m. and goes all the way to 11 p.m. for a given day. So please make sure when you're filling this out, you're not accidentally putting something outside the school day. So let's say the class is at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go to 10 o'clock. I look and I see that the laptop blue card is open. I'm going to double click to add an appointment. That's what the little message on screen is telling me. When I double click, it creates my appointment or it opens my appointment window. For the subject, please put the teacher name. For the location, please put the room number so we know where the materials are going, especially laptop carts, iPod cart, uh, depending on what building you're in. Start time and end time. Yes, these drop downs are only by half hour increments. However, if you click in the drop down box, you can type. So in the case of where a class starts on a specific time, like let's say the class starts at 10, 17 a.m., and let's say it ends at 11.03 a.m., please put the class hour. This will help immensely in buildings where uh, maybe there isn't a bell schedule or in buildings where there's staggered schedules. So please do put the time for the class hour so we know what other times are available outside of that. I'm going to uncheck the reminder box so I don't get any pop-ups reminding me of anything. And here in the message area, please just put a brief snippet of what you're doing. So let's say my students were creating podcasts with GarageBand. And if I hit save and close at the top, it'll put the event on the calendar. There it is. Now the nice thing about this is we know what teacher has that reserved at that time. We know what room it is just by this view. When you mouse over any of the reservation appointments, you can see the exact time is listed there. So that'll be very helpful if people fill in the exact time so you know what is available. Let's say you have to add an event that occurs over a few days. I'll do this on the green cart calendar here. Let's say I want to reserve for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. When you're in the appointment, this button at the top that is the uh, little circle button, that is the repeat event. So I'm going to go in here, and I get the choice of start time. Again, I can click in here. Let's say this starts at 12.03 oops, and goes until 1.15. Don't worry about duration, just fill in the exact times. That'll work itself out. Uh, I want this to repeat daily. I want it to just be on weekdays because I'm not reserving anything on the weekends. Start date right now is set to 9-1. End we will make using the little mini calendar here. I want it to end by, let's say, Monday the 6th. So I hit OK for that. I still have to fill in my information, so we'll say Kafka room 411. I'll turn off the reminder uh, using iMovie. I click save and close and you will notice that the events will appear and they show a little the little repeat symbol on here showing that it was an event that was created using that method. And I can jump to the next week and see that I still have it on that day as well. So that is how you reserve. Please again don't double up. If, if you notice on the calendar things are doubling up that means somebody's accidentally over reserved into the same time. That is how you reserve. Thank you so much for watching.